Hi, Thomas Miller with the Subconscious Mind Mastery Podcast. A lot of people now are starting to become awake and aware of the subconscious mind, that it is something that gets programmed in our lives, in our psyche, in our way of being. It becomes our paradigm. And this happens very early in life. And we could even argue before we are born. But let's just talk about in our early years. Up until about 10, 12, maybe 14 years old, we are like a big sponge. Certain brain waves are active that we absorb everything. So any little gesture, any approval, any discipline, any over-discipline, any abuse becomes tremendously programmed into our psyche. This is where we pick up on love or too much love on fear, on anger, on all kinds of emotions, that as we then become adults, start to control us without us even knowing it's happening. It's kind of a cruel thing that nature set up, but more people are becoming aware of it, and especially young people, and that thrills my heart. I went almost until I was 49 years old, not realizing this material. If we can reach young people, millennials, if you get this, it can completely change your adult life. So much for the better. So how do we reprogram? Well, that's what my podcast is about. So check it out on iTunes, Subconscious Mind Mastery, on iTunes and Spotify and Stitcher and SoundCloud and a bunch of other places. But two, two key things that I just want to leave you with. Repetition with emotion. This is why a lot of typical affirmations are not as powerful. Because we can say, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, I am happy, I am happy, I'm in a great relationship, I'm in a great relationship. We can do that all day long. But there's no emotion to it. We have to feel it. We have to feel alive. So, Tony Robbins, if you know who he is, back in his day of reprogramming things and launching his career, You know, Tony's a big guy and he makes big movements and all this, but he would get himself so psyched up. And the trick of that is he was feeling it. From his head to his toes, he was feeling it. So repetition, yes. And that can be a series of affirmations. It can be journaling, things that we write down, and I would highly encourage that every day. And it could be uh, uh, like I did on another video, the little desktop app that just intermittently flashes up subliminal messages. All of those are fine for repetition. Then you have to build the emotion into it. You have to feel it so much down to your toes that there's no way that that reality couldn't happen. That's when things manifest. That's when things shift. And then when you do that over time, how long? 30, 45 days, 60 days, maybe 90 days. It takes us adults a lot longer to reprogram than it did when we were kids. So I I like to say, if it took this much effort to program something into your subconscious, to your psyche when you were a child, it takes, you know, a half a mile if I could stretch my arms out that far. Literally, I mean, just a whole lot more. Think about not this to this. Think about this to, you know, six blocks that way and six blocks that way, because it takes a lot as adults. But once we start to get it, those neural pathways start to wire up, and then we've changed our paradigm. If you want more information on this, check out the podcast, Subconscious Mind Mastery. We'll see you there.